everyone. Welcome back to the Mini World series. I know it has been a very long time since my last video here. Uh, most accurately, the assessment of time would be particularly around a couple OUHCs ago. Suffice it to say, I've had a lot of problems with the series, uh, not just primarily for finding time to actually do it, but also problems where the server that the series is running on decided to just up and kill its own motherboard somehow. So, uh, took a little while to get the world, you know, everything off of it, get it all set up on a different computer. Unfortunately, the system that it's running on right now is the least powerful system in my shed and is already in use for other purposes. So, you may notice that actually I'm getting something of a decent multiplayer server experience right now, because you might see every now and then the stars will decide to lag out a little bit, or things uh, take a little while to respond in game. Uh, I have been busy. I have not been sitting around idle and uh, what you're going to see is a lot of work and progress made since the last episode that I released. Uh, so without further ado, let's actually start taking a look at what's going on here. So I'm in here down at uh, downtown Wackawood, or what used to be downtown Wackawood, the survival uh, community uh, shelter slash storage used to be here, and um, yeah, I've been a little busy actually. Uh, since that episode, uh, I've had the the uh, one one episode. I've had the town hall built and uh, kind of finished off a little bit, not perfectly, um, because I have to admit that I completely messed up the clock tower and it's actually one block thinner on the sides than it should be. But it doesn't, it doesn't look bad. I'm not ready to have to tear everything down in there to rebuild that, unfortunately. And then we've got this building over here and these uh, structures, which are... Now this is my survival shack. This has been here since uh, day one. I've redone my portal over to the main hub. And you can see that I've got this kind of building over here and what looks like... Uh, stuff walkways or something coming off of it, right? Well, what this is, is my recreation of Whack Track. Uh, this was something that J Minecrafton on Spumcraft Season 1 had started working on and was a, a big proponent of. And he kind of laid down the guidelines for uh, how everything was set up for tracks, where they'd run and everything, how they'd run, so the idea was they're supposed to go out straight out uh, one line going out, one line coming in, mm. you know, kind of keep it the same elevation wherever you can. Now it looks a little different on this server because the when it was made on Spawncraft, by that point Spawn had been pretty kind of sparse, well it wasn't sparse to populate, it was a little spread out. So uh, when the original station was built that Jay and I put together, he was working on tracks down at the lower level, and I had already actually gone all the way down to Bedrock and dug straight out to Egg Harbor as a uh, way of getting some early diamonds in the game. And uh, I had offered the use of that, but his rail was a little more economical to use because it was actually, you know, at about the... Uh, for the stuff going through town, it was pretty low, and then everything else was up on the surface, so it little, made a little more sense. Uh, right up until you had to go tunnel or bridging out over 20 million things of ocean, which I would have rather gone underground on, but such as it is. But this is my take on the whack track concept, um, and a little bit of an homage to him. He, Jay wound up, uh, he didn't abandon the server, but he was on less and less, so uh, what happened was I kind of took over whack track and did a lot of the the, the final building that was done on it. It was never actually fully finished because by the time we'd gotten it out to the world border, the world borders got extended again. And then by the time I got them out to the new world, I, you know, got one track out to the new world border, it got extended again. So, um, it just was never actually going to wind up being finished. In fact, the only thing that came close, uh, Red Line was actually finished. And I've actually even kept the same colors as the original Season 1. So, the yellow path is still uh, going out towards where the Hall of Founders would be, and the red path is actually going out because the red was actually the only one full, really technically finished, and only by dint of we took it out to where the desert was and just ended it at the desert temple out there. All that's still out there. 
on this uh, seed, of course, because it's the same seed, a slightly different generation. And uh, everything's still out there, but I just have to get to it. For the time being, though, it's going to kind of stay like this, just a little bit of a hub. And the only thing it's actually not really done in here, obviously, aside from trying to do some interior decoration, which we'll see how that turns out, uh, it's not really my forte. Uh, you can see I've actually given these places names, so this will be going out to the desert lands. So this will effectively be for when I want to uh, go out strip mining for sand. And then, of course, we've got Oceania, because I know there is nothing but tons of ocean out that way. So this will probably go out to, if I decide to start building any sort of underwater city on here, uh, I'll be using that line. Now, there are, you might be a little confused, because, well, on Season 1 Spellcraft, the tracks went out in the cardinal direction, so north, south, east, and west. Well, where are the other two? The other two... I've decided will be on the lower level. So I'm going to have subways taking me over to Egg Harbor over in that direction, which I'll be rebuilding to some extent, and over to what I'm going to call Tribute Valley. And uh, when that actually on the Season 1 map would be just beyond here. It was where Spum was doing some of his initial builds, uh, you know, tests and everything on the server. And uh, also, in a kind of named it Tribute Valley because it is going to kind of, I think, be a tribute to various YouTubers that I follow, some of you know, the channels I subscribe to, and uh, yeah, it's kind of what I call it Tribute Valley. So it's probably going to be mostly, you know, pixel art, so keeping it over there and in that, that whole narrow valley that opens up out into this general direction then means I can kind of do a road from there over to Egg Harbor and link the two together. And of course, I'm going to actually going to have a surface road to Egg Harbor as well, much like there was in the other world, the original Season 1 world. And for now, that road ends over here. This is all brand new here, this nice little curving uh, feature through downtown. Let me actually put uh, F1 back on here, and you can kind of see how the, the road does this nice little gentle turn to follow the, the uh, line of the coast here. Uh, so this little cobble bridge right now is just an homage to the original cobble bridge that I put on uh, the Season 1 map that I built. Like, I believe, like, the first night that I... Literally the first Minecraft night that I was on. Uh, so that comes out here, so I'll be bringing this path through here. And that... You didn't see this on any of the original Season 1 uh, videos because I never really recorded until these were well covered over. But there were a series of caves actually coming off of this. Uh, this is Town Hall right here. I did, decided not to actually rebuild the original Town Hall, because it was nice, but I wanted something a little different on this one. So there's a stairwell going all the way down to Diamond Level for community mining, and that goes uh, quite a ways out. So as you can see, I've been doing a little bit of extra lighting around here, and I've also taken the stairwell up here up fully to the top here. I'm not exactly sure what I'm going to build up here just yet, uh, maybe it'll be this world's version of the courthouse, or maybe that will be kind of tucked back somewhere in here. Uh, I don't really have plans to recreate the shopping district or anything else much further out beyond where you see stuff right now. Uh, it is very much a uh, straightforward, just get it up and going and uh, get everything in place world set up. Like I said, I still have the lower level to design of this, and I also need to do something about animal pens because I've kind of secured some of my animals here, but not all of them. So I'm trying to keep my animals away from spawn. I don't want the don't really want to have any farmers really blatantly obvious out in the open here. So these cows actually do need to move. It's unfortunate they're mm. right outside of the mayor's office mm. down here, um, and you know. Uh, like I've said before, I'm not exactly much of an interior designer, so a lot of these places are kind of, well, they're there, that's what they're supposed to be used for. Whether or not they'll actually want to be used for that, if I can actually even decorate them, that's going to be a bit of a challenge. See, I do have the lower level here I have to build, mm -hmm. but this is good enough. The exterior of the building itself is pretty much complete, so that's actually good enough to call this satisfaction of the, actually two builds are technically complete because I finished this and I've also finished the sides of the clock tower here that were not done so the town hall build is essentially finished so what I'm going to do here is get rid of as much junk in my inventory as I feel comfortable with 
which is not going to be a lot. Um, should be able to find ender pearls anywhere I go. It's nice. No. Oh, I'm not carrying ender pearls there. Okay. The idea is when I go into the over, when I go over to any other map. The intent when I built this was it, I wasn't supposed to go to any other maps until I had a, a build complete over here on the original Spawncraft C. And then that kind of has been twisted around because obviously I had to prank false with the uh, the additions to her setup. So anyways, back here in the world hub, you can see that I've expanded a little bit since we were last over here. And uh, added a nice little window so I can keep an eye on what's going on outside. And uh, I think what is going to actually happen with this world is I'm going to be turning this into a creative build world. Uh, since I have cheat modes on and I can flip around between my modes at will, uh, you know, strip out my inventory, switch over to creative, and kind of start developing this world a little bit, and developing something outside the window to see. So it'll be interesting to see what I can come up with for that. But as you can see, I've got Spawncraft Season 1, I've got Spawncraft Season 2, which this is new, actually, since I was last in here. Uh, Harmacraft Season 3 is still there. And you can see I've also added Zombieton for, from Zombiecraft. This is, of course, the uh, Zombie Cleo Patreon map, which I have available here. This portal has not been linked in yet. No idea what I'm going to add there, but chances are that's probably going to be... This will probably wind up being the last world I add. I don't think there's much of a of a point in adding too many other worlds to uh, this particular map. Pro uh, primarily because right now, uh, one of the reasons I had problems salvaging the the uh, remains of many worlds off of the server it was running on is because this is somewhere around 12 gigs right now of Minecraft maps that I'm running, loading, and uh, playing with. And yeah, I could, you know, unlink and, and you know, drop stuff and re-add stuff, so maybe this will kind of be a more of a floating, you know, featured world of a episode or something, but I don't really want to kind of go too far into that. So uh, let's actually pop over to Spawncraft Season 2 map. And you can see I've set it up. I'm going to try to standardize actually more on at least the putting this in with a bedrock portal frame so I know exactly how to get out and where to get out. Uh, so we've got it empty. I don't have anything. So the problem is that everything I had on Spawncraft Season 2 was in my inner chest, so I did actually lose all that. But because of uh, all the work I did over here, I've got access to my villagers again. And actually, the one thing I really do want to try... The big question right now is I do have Movecraft installed. I didn't think I did all this time, and then I went into look to see what I had, and sure enough, I actually had it installed. So, theoretically, did I leave myself a spare stick? Yes, I did. Thinking ahead, me. Good job. Uh, there should be that. Good. And that. And. Okay, no, that's actually why I keep a charcoal up. Kept the charcoal out as an emergency uh, flight system if needed. And the flybox. Okay, that's because this is not running with the same configuration as that we had in place on Spumcraft. So the actual flight requirements of all the craft are going to be a little different. Let's do that. Stick it there. That's actually good that I'm getting a response out of it, though. Too much fly block chest. Interesting. I didn't know that was a... Yeah. Drum. Craft, or was even an option for it. Let's do that. I have to wonder if the uh, 
much more call it that under chest counts significantly. I think that's a good trip. The only thing I want to cons no, I'm not gonna. I was gonna say I should eat something from the world here, but I'm still eating the mutton that I took from uh false, amusingly enough. And actually while we're out and about Let's go take a look over at Zombieton. So I set up the portal at Zombieton right here, so it's a diamond blocks over here. I've got the running of the horde tributes there, and uh. over there I did manage to indeed die. Annoyingly enough. And I don't know why I'm not seeing it on. Yep, because the problem with uh, this particular map, uh. I do have the uh. nether hub for zombie craft linked in. The problem is because the multiverse plugin, the nether portal plugin, is doing literal calculations, including the uh, your Y coordinate when figuring out where to go from portals. It happily means that every single portal, because they exist in the ceiling of the nether hub, they all actually wind up depositing you ridiculously high above the surface and you fall to your, de your death every time you come through. And the only way to fix that would be to make the set the default for Zombieton, the uh, zombie craft overworld, to be a... There's a zombie over here. Hello, friend! You're the only other life that exists on the server now. So sorry. Creeper down there. Uh, the only other. I just a bit lost my train of thought. The only, there's not too many places around here I necessarily want to go, and most of them I know I can get to from the overworld. Uh, and it will be actually a little easier to get to them once I have. Once everything goes up 1 9. If I can bring this map over into 1 9, uh, then I should be pretty set for. For the uh, what you call it? Okay, hang on. I should be all you know set to work with the, uh, the boats. And everything you can see even now, just standing here, that uh, I, I'm having problems with uh, the world glitching and, and taking forever to run. So, you know, again, this is a dedicated P. Well, not a. De it's not a dedicated PC for the server, unfortunately, but. So that's the idea of many worlds, is I can come over, raid other worlds for supplies, use the, the big massive mob farms that I am in no way really able or knowledgeable enough to, to build on my own, let alone have the time to do it. You know, pick up other supplies that are out here, come back over, and not only that, but I get to be inspired by all the other builds that are going on. So. You know, I can come over here and I can look at something like this, I can tear it apart, I can... If I want to do my own mob, I, mob farm, I've got an online working example of it. I can tear down, look at redstone, you know, I can really kind of sit down, I can go... And now I can really enjoy it because I can go into creative mode, I don't have to... Uh, flip into... Uh, I don't have to constantly be flipping in and out of game mode, uh, or flipping back and forth between a camera count. But the nice thing is I can, uh... How does that not despawn? Oh! Invisible armor stand. Yep. Now I see how it's done. Okay. That's basically the whole idea of the Mini Worlds uh, process. And I do want to actually come through and I'm going to uh, tweak the banners a little bit, but let's head home. I've got a full inventory of stuff that I'm bringing back. Decent amount of supplies I don't have to worry about going after in my world now. And Spubcraft Season 1. Here we come, back to the pub. And back to the world. And here we are. Now, technically, I am going to actually, because I've got, uh, this build completely done. I'm going to bank that actually, because uh, this is 
you know, this is this one's not completely done technically either. Um, the underground is going to be a completely separate build, and that's because Egg Harbor is then going to be the third build probably uh, in terms of what I can get done at any given time. But I feel a lot better having done that because now I've got a good supply of diamonds built up. Got enough food to last for a little while. Anyways, guys, I think this is a good wrap-up for the uh, additions that I've been making to uh, Wackawood over here. Uh, Wack Track has effectively been re-established, and I can start building out along that. I can do some more building up towards the top here, maybe do some terracing work and clean up a little bit about the house here, or maybe even build another level of house because obviously I'm starting to get a little cramped in there. I may need to consider building something a little more formal for a storage area next. Do I build a warehouse down here? I don't know. Do I work on the bridge over here? I don't know. I've got a lot of different areas I can go now, and I feel a lot better actually having these two builds pretty much in place and ready to go, because that's going to help a lot of stuff downtown start to uh, flesh itself out a little more. So anyways, I've been Feral, and this has been the Many Worlds series, and I'll catch you guys in the next episode.